What's going on guys, Kaigu here, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you all about the Gladiator for Legend of Neverland. Let's get into it. So first things first, Legend of Neverland, the fighting style is in such a way that you have two weapons. As you see, I just clicked my weapon and there's a short cooldown to swap between the two. I just changed it yet again. Now, you choose between two and up until level 90, I suggest playing around with all four of the classes. And don't worry if you level up skills and you're not sure what you like. Uh, reset down here. Uh, up to level 90, it is free. After level 90, it costs one of those reset tokens, which you can get three times a week from the guild shop. Not very expensive, not a big thing, but three times a week, you can play around with your uh, setup. Now, with all four of the classes, you have the top two abilities right here. Up here, one, two, three, four. And that's two of each uh, class type uh, for Gladiator. And the two under it, the ones that's locked on the left, and the two that I have uh, unlocked on the right, are the other two of the class-specific ones of that type. If we take a look, up here we have Gladiator, 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 Gladiator. Over here we have Berserker, 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 Berserker. Now, why that matters is you activate one of the two sides that you want. And as you see, I have everything active to me for Berserker and the two Gladiators on the left. If I chose Gladiator, I would have all four on the left and the two on the right. Now, something that people aren't really looking at is the actual effects in the middle. These affect all of your skills. So if we take a look on the left, Gladiator... Uh, whenever you use a gladiator type skill, uh, the wording is kind of weird because it says takes effect when activating gladiator and all of the abilities when you click them, it says this skill belongs to gladiator. So when you use a gladiator type skill, you gain immunity to knock back and knock out, which in actual game terms is a knock up, which those are those effects in this game. Uh, briefly when releasing a gladiator skill. So if you're, if you're used to Tekken or other fighting type games, when you do a wind-up for your skill, they can't normally knock you out of the wind-up. This is kind of like that. There's some fringe uses where they can use a stun effect, which will stop you. But most common is the knock-up and knock-back, which you ignore. Then you gain extra attack equal to 2% of your max HP. You can stack a lot, a lot, a lot of HP. And as you'll see, uh, as a gladiator, you will want a lot of HP because some uh, two of your main skills get damage based off of your HP. After releasing the skill that causes the loss of HP, your two, the two skills you get right here uh, cause you to lose HP, you recover... 4% of your current lost HP for over 6 seconds. So if it makes you lose 10% HP, you will get, uh, if the skill costs 10% HP, but you took 5% or another 10% during battle, so you're missing 20% HP, you will heal 4% uh, of that 20% over 6 seconds. And it's just to help you keep going. Some of the skills will heal you as well. Uh, it also allows you to have these two skills. Now, let's talk about the gladiator type skills. So, first we have uppercut, which is one of my favorites. Sprint forward, dealing percent plus flat damage in total, and regenerate HP for 15% of damage dealt. So, all of these over here to the far right are extra effects on the skill. So they'll either be a flat damage bonus like this one, or they'll be a crit damage bonus. So they're not they're not going to change the skill in any way, they're just going to boost the damage. So don't worry about those right now. And next we have cross cut. Uh, deal percentage and flat damage twice to enemies in front of you and reduce their attack by 15% for 3 seconds. So this is showing you to be 
a very damage tank. So, like, you are dealing upfront damage, but then you're also reducing their attack. And then you know that up here, uh, uppercut, you're also healing yourself. You're a heal tank, is what you're trying to do here. And you'll see this as we continue. Then, uh, Moonslash, this is one of the two that you unlock by picking it. Uh, the other two... If you are a Berserker, you can also choose them. Uh, I play Berserker, and I use Uppercut, for example. Then uh, Moonslash, lose 10% of your current HP, so if you're low on HP, it costs less. Uh, to deal damage equal to percentage plus flat plus 40% uh, of your lost HP. So if you lose 100 HP then you're dealing 40 extra damage. Uh, but then all that together, so this, uh, it costs 10% of your current HP, and then add all of these modifiers up, including over here, which is uh, additional damage, add all that up, and then that's how much you're healing. 4% uh, of that damage is what you're healing from the Gladiator effect, not to mention you're getting an extra 2% of your HP as attack, to stack on top of that damage. Uh, this also reduces their movement speed by 80% for 2 seconds. And the damage scale is a little bit higher, but it's just extra damage. Uh, Punitive Chop, this one's really cool. If we take a look, lose 15% of your current HP to release sword energy in front of you, rip through space, dealing a total of uh, the same calculation but bigger numbers. Percentage plus flat plus 40% of your lost HP. Uh, this is just a big hit, and it hits far and wide. Like I said, I can easily swap over here, uh, equip, and then just show you the skill right here. It's just far and wide. Now, let's talk about... Uh, the Berserker type skills. So Berserker's effect is when you use a Berserker type skill, the skill uh, has a termination effect. Two enemies with lower than 50% HP deal 25% to 50% extra eight damage based off their lost HP. So all of your Berserker type skills when you are a Berserker has a coup de gras type effect. If they're under 50%, as they get lower, you deal more and more damage to them, which will be important later on. Uh, when killing an enemy with a skill with a Berserker effect, increase Break by 7%. Break is like a uh, defense break. Uh, it ignores some of their defense by 7% for 20 seconds, which is a long time in this game. Uh, stacking up to five times. So you can have 35% uh, break on your opponent. Uh, duration will refresh when you get more stacks. So even though it can only stack five times, if you keep going, it'll keep resetting the 20 second timer. So remember that uh, we do bonus damage if they're low HP. And when we kill something with a Berserker skill, then uh, we get break. Now let's look over the abilities. First, we have a combo hit, uh, deal damage in front of you three times, uh, and this will deal bonus damage. So at the first hit, if they're over 50% hits them and they go under 50%, the second and third hits will deal more and more damage. Then we have Soul Blast. Uh, wheel Blade in front, dealing percent and flat damage towards enemies on the path, reducing defense and block by 30% for 4 seconds. So defense is exactly what it sounds like. You do all your bonuses, you minus their defense, that's the damage that you hit them with. Block is a chance to reduce it by half. Uh, so if they have 100% block for whatever reason, then they'll always take 50% damage. Whereas if you're reducing it by 30%, so now it's 70% block. So you can start wailing on them. Uh... And then we have flash. This is where the uh, this is where the first bit of dealing extra damage with them under fifty percent really shines, is with flash. Uh, sprint forward, 
dealing percent and flat damage if the target is killed remember it'll deal bonus damage if they're under half the skill can be released again and the cooldown is half for killing monsters so in pvp you can keep going with flash if you kill someone just keep going <laughs> Uh, we had a guild war and I got a double with this skill, uh, didn't kill with the second one, so I couldn't keep going. But, uh, if people are, you know, 20, 30% HP, you can just run through them. Then we have a flash slash dash forward, dealing percent and flat damage to enemies on the path, activating flash slash link. Uh, the same thing. It's a, it's a dash and another dash. So you can use this to get in and get out uh, because you're not really the tanky type. So you can use this to dash in, uh, do some other skill, combo up a little bit, and then dash back out. Or dash and then dash again to catch up to a target behind your first target. The second dash does more damage. Now remember that you have three other classes, Ranger, Scholar, and craftsmen to pick from to really choose what goes with you. If you're doing something like uh, Gladiator, where you're more the uh, damage tank style, I suggest Scholar Bless for heals and buffs. If you're doing something like Berserker, where you're just all about that damage and trying to kill as fast as possible, I like either... Uh, wind chaser on the right or mechanic uh from the craftsman on the right let me know in the comment section down below which of the three you want to see me do next and i will uh, do a deep dive into the next class until next time guys